hello welcome back to shankar's channel all right so last in my last video we have covered gen how to connect uh, your jenkins agent linux machine to jenkins master and in, in that case both were linux machines but when you have one uh, jenkins master installed on a linux machine but you'd like to connect windows as an agent or uh, to the jenkins master so uh, there comes uh, the uh, you know complexity where how you can uh, you know achieve this goal but trust me this would be more easier than uh, what we did for linux so i have um, provision one windows instance and i am currently logged into that instance and uh, as a prerequisite like what we did in the linux machine so if you haven't gone through my last video please go through it uh, for linux machine and this is for windows uh, agent connectivity with jenkins master and every other uh, you know agent or master are nothing but the ec2 instances on aws so your jenkins master has jenkins installed and we are now connecting we have connected jenkins a linux agent to the master now we are connecting jenkins windows agent to the master so uh, like i said i am already logged in here and as a prerequisite in the linux machine what we did initially we installed java there right so likewise we uh, have to install java here which just to save the time i have already done i have downloaded it and installed it so let me show you uh, if i go to the command prompt here this is the windows machine you can see and i hit cmd command prompt and now if i check let me scroll up a bit if i check java version so it should come up with something right? see i have since i have already installed it now the next step is to log in your jenkins console on this machine so open browser and log into the Genix, jenkins uh, console which i have already done okay now we'll go back here uh, manage jenkins in this uh, within this windows machine so it's it's on the browser and windows machine we already connected this in that last video now we are connecting windows machine so i'll say uh, agent mm -hmm, okay win for windows and then i'll do create description i'll, I'll keep it like this it will be home okay this will be your uh, C directory there we had like something called home since homes Jenkins here your root directory is C so it would be C and Jenkins and this would be win agent Windows agent right use this node as much as possible I'll use this node as much as possible here I'll do the custom path again I'm sorry C Oh, wait a minute. We'll go back to configure again. You know what? I'll copy this. And I'll paste it here. Okay. Now make sure you, uh, because every other, uh, you know, uh, uh, connectivity works on some uh, protocols so make sure when while you configure windows instance because there we were using like exchanging of keys uh, ports were opened here uh, we did not do anything as such so make sure you select this use web socket it will allow a uh, little see what it does it use web socket to connect jenkins master rather than the tcp uh, port right so we are not setting up any port as such so it's it's allowing us to connect it on the uh, using this web socket we'll save it let me check we have anything in here we don't have anything in here we'll save it let's see what it says now it's asking us to run this uh, run this uh, partial I'm sorry run this uh, agent uh, uh, agent command line that means i'll have to open the command prompt again here and i'll paste it as this let's see what it says connected now we'll exit it out 
I mean, we'll minimize this machine. Go back to Jenkins outside uh, Windows machine. Dashboard, manage Jenkins. Manage nodes and clouds. Here we go. So you see that it is very uh, simple as compared to uh, your agent Linux machine, right? So it is connected. You can use this agent to execute the jobs uh, you would like to, okay? So uh, that's all for this video. This was pretty uh, quick, a short one. I'll cover, uh, uh, oh, one more thing. I missed uh, one another thing in my previous video, which I uh, promised, but it did not cover, which is uh, granting user access to uh, uh, to the console, um, Jenkins console. So how you can do that? You can come here, manage Jenkins scroll down and then manage users you create a user for example i have shank as a user i'll uh, give password to anything like this and then i'll say shank is i'll put some email let's see if it takes without email no okay i'll put one email I have created Shankas. Now what I'll do, I'll come back here. I'm sorry, go back to Gen manage Jenkins and again to, uh, this time I'll not uh, touch manage users. I'll go into glo configure global security. So global security, um, if you uh, check this, uh, metrics or project based metrics for example let's see metrics based security here you would get how you can you know grant user access to the uh, Jenkins console so if I add user here since I know the name Shankas that's what I added so it will allow you to add this here and the permissions kind of permissions you would like uh, this user to have you can select those permissions like this like this right or you can do at all you know, using this uh, option so it will add this to or else you uh, have the group uh, created and then you can add this group as well and that group uh, would have some set of users so that way you, if you apply and then try to log into uh, the username and password that you set you will be able to log into the username and password and if you check this box users will be able to uh, you know sign up as well but you will not uh, save the settings i just showed you how you can do that in your uh, environment and yeah that's all i think we are all good for this as of now and we'll cover next topic my very most uh very, very important and uh, interesting as well and that is to create the uh, you know demo or sample pipeline all right, thanks so much for watching.